Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to SimUK and Airport CEO. I'm just speeding through the evening um, because we've got a lot of jobs that need to be done and probably a good idea is to bring in some more staff. So let's just bring a lot of them in. That'll help uh, get things built a bit quicker. So you remember in the last episode I attempted to unlock the ability to have more than one project group being researched at a time. It seems I haven't done that at all. I must have misread it. What I've done is um, unlock these program control options. So we don't have two project groups at all, but we do have program groups now. So that's a bit weird. What does this do here? Benefit effect per signed administrator 10% increased construction speed, current output 0% increased, efficiency 1%. Why? I've just put five people on it. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, we'll have to wait for this. I picked um, the project brief floor construction permit so that we get terminal floors, stairs, escalators conveyor belt escalators and jetway stand upgrades so that I can hopefully build that bridge out across as we expand. But I suppose what I ought to be focusing on is actually getting this done. I suspect not having... Uh... Oh, hello. We've got our first big aircraft coming in today. Any minute now, in fact. Fantastic. Let's start that 20-minute timer. 20 minutes started. So, uh, yeah, if I don't get the uh, conveyor belt system up and running I think we're going to have problems because we're going to have a lot of customers very soon and they're not going to want to be carrying around all their luggage so when's he, when's he coming in when's he coming in what time is that half past three 320 okay one hour from now how exciting I'm so excited ridiculous really but I am. I'm very excited. <laughs> um, oh, how do I turn that off? There we go. Right, so there's no gate currently on this one. So let's go in and put a desk in there. I meant desk. I know I said gate. So these are built now. I just need to assign them to this. This gap has now opened up, so I can drop another one of these in. Perfect. So that's going to help a little bit, I think. It's a bit of a bodge job, I know. We'll do that. It's a bit of a weird way of doing it, but. What am I doing? What am I doing? I could see a much easier, better way of doing that. That just makes so much more sense to me now. And then theoretically I could expand this out a little bit. Put a little viewing platform. Oh, I missed it. I missed the landing of our plane. <laughs> Hot diggity damn. Of course, he's going to be wanting fuel and I've just broken all this, which is not a good situation. 
all go this morning. Look at this. Look at the customers now. What's your main thoughts? Hungry? Oh, I saw something. What did we have? We unlocked something. Like a kiosk or something. A buffet table for airline lounges. Must be placed within an airline lounge. So I'm going to have to sort of think about constructing airline lounges and really focusing my attention on upper class sort of stuff. But look how many more people we've got. Oh no, these are, <laughs> these are the people building the road. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I bet you that doesn't connect properly now. We'll see if they get any fuel. Connect it to the stand. Departure runway not connected. Arrival runway not connected. Oh, we're missing a section there. Look at that. How weird. Right, so you're up and running now. And that'll be up and running once we get there. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. We are getting there, slowly. So we've got our first ever medium-sized aircraft. From Maple Express. He's flown in from the Ultimate International, the URI, Southampton, uh, United Kingdom. That sounds like a big plane. What's that? I know it's just a 1900D. How many passengers did you have? 27 and 21. That's actually not that many. I was expecting 100. But obviously that's not the case. Okay, well, fine. So how's this shop doing? Zero sales. Okay, excellent. Uh, maybe I'll put some floor down for them. Oh, I've unlocked some new stuff. What's this? A road tunnel. Enables vehicles to pass up and down through terrain. Perfect. What have we got here? An airline lounge. And we've got an escalator, some stairs, a walker later, and an elevator. Oh, things are getting a bit serious now, aren't they? Yeah, we've got another big flight coming in very soon. Right, let me look at this again and see if I can... See if I can actually figure this out. Project Group 2. Concrete runways. Concrete roads. Self-checking kiosk. Baggage drop-off. Self-boarding gate. Ah, R&D project program group two. So I think that's what I need is that, right? How long is that going to take? Eight hours. I'm going to try again. Project group two. So if that unlocks here, we're laughing. So let's hope it doesn't take too long. About eight hours, that's, that's going to take. All right. Okay. So we're going to need... 
to think about how we're going to do this. I suppose technically... Oh, we need more, we need more trucks. Okay, let's focus on that first. We'll grab two of each. We've only got half a million left. I'm a bit nervous now because there's not a lot of money coming in. But there's a lot of money going out. What's the problem here? A scheduled check-in desk for this flight is currently blocked by another flight and check-in cannot begin. Well, which flight is this? Oh, wait, 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 where did that information go? Passenger service agent, so I need some more passenger service agents, okay. Uh, let's go to employee, passenger service agents, who have we got? You're pretty good. You're pretty good. You guys aren't good, but we're in need of more people, so. Look how many uh, people there are sat down now. That's loads. Uh, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, damn it. Forgot to switch it to commercial only. I'm going to have to kick him out. Sorry, mate. You need to go. How do I kick him out? There we go. He's off. Sorry about that, fella. That's our mistake. Have a free... Uh, have a free dinner on us next time you come. Oh, yeah, I've got to build the gate and stuff, haven't I? Holy crumbs. Ah, uh, what have we got here? An E190. Again from Southampton. That's very exciting to see those coming in. Imagine if... Uh, <clears throat> flight MP314 at stand 17 is running late. Do you want to delay this flight by one hour? Yes. And he's running late because, uh, because I presume of the fuel hold up. Yeah, we've got far too many employees. Let's get rid of some of these. Oh, look. Now, uh, see, he's only got held up by a minute or two, not by much. He's getting a nice little push back. And he's ready to go. That's not too bad, considering we had a few issues along the way. I think we'll cope with that. We'll accept that.
So this will be the first time we've had um, a medium-sized aircraft taking off. And I love it. See you later. Happy flight. Okay, good. We're in a good state. We're in a good position here. Um, okay, this is getting built. That's great. I have to take that wall down. to build a desk. Oh, I've got to change that to a secure zone first. And now I can put a desk in. I'm going to do it slightly differently because I'm a bit concerned whether or not the gate is in the right way. Have I got that back to front? It's building it already, look. I think I've put that in back to front. We'll sort that out later. I'm just hoping these doors reach because if they don't, I'm going to have to go back to that system. What have we got here? CRJ-200. I knew that was a bigger aircraft. Game was lying to me. So we can squeeze three of these in at a time. We definitely need a cafe. Look at this. This is taking far too long. Yeah, that's not sustainable. Need a big cafe in the middle as well. Right, so I think we've unlocked the ability to have two groups. Yes, we have. So I'm going to go catering. No, that's for catering on aircraft. We need... Cafe and bar contracts. That's what we need. And then this one is supposed to be baggage handling, yeah? So we've got five on each. That's going to make our life a lot easier. We're going to see huge unlocks and progression off the back of that. Have I put that in the wrong place? I have completely. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. And it's facing completely the wrong way around. Right, we're going to pop it there. We're going to connect it to there. And that's now operational. Oh no, it doesn't quite work. Look. Oh no. Whoever comes in that door isn't going to be able to get in. So departures are not going to be able to get out. Oh no, man. That's more money. More problems. All right, we'll have to revert back to our original plan. that that's an absolute nightmare there's no stair truck on the stand why is there no stair truck let me get some more vehicles I'm sure I have a stair truck yeah I do so we need at least three of those then We we'll have two of those and two of those. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. So there's going to be a slight delay, a slight hold up. Or is it because I've just deleted that bit of road? Oh, I don't know. I 
We've got 30 uh, builder guys. This shouldn't take too long. What have we got in terms of emails? Economy reports. Have a look. God. That doesn't make for happy reading. We'll just close that down again. It looks like I need a bit more seating over here. How many people are on this plane? 40. Okay, that's quite a big number of passengers. What about you? Can't click on you for some reason. Wow. Cannot click on that plane at all. It's it's cuz I've broken the road, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry. My god, that's 20 minutes already, guys. Where did that time go? That's incredible. Well, we made some progress. We made a few mistakes. We've learned a few lessons. But definitely we've expanded. We're exploring new avenues, new areas, and new possibilities for income. But, um, yeah, I think at the moment it's fair to say that we're a little bit strapped for cash and struggling financially to uh, make any sort of significant headway but once this all unlocks hopefully the cafe will improve things because I did read somewhere that if people are hungry oh look this contract will be cancelled if sales targets are not met within seven days if people are hungry they don't want to eat they're going to cancel their contract as well and them even though they're doing well that's not good. That's really not good. Okay, so it's quite important in the next episode then that we get these cafes built and some sort of progress happens because otherwise all these contracts are going to start leaving the airport and that means even less revenue coming in. Crikey. Right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.